Little old small talk, big thoughts Gonna tell them all just what I want That street, two streets I see you and me hanging on the end of swings Before this video ever starts, um, I want to mention that I know my channel is based around fun games, but I want to touch on this serious moment or whatever you want to say. Um, this is a horror game, a psychological horror game. It's There's no jump scares or anything, but it gets you thinking, it gets your mind going on whether or not there is something behind you. So I just wanted to touch on that moment. So. If you guys think there is something going to pop out and scare the crap out of you, don't worry, you're fine. Alright, everybody on YouTube right now. Um, I don't know, this thing is being real weird. Since I'm recording PC, this is, actually, I think this is my 100th video. So, thank you guys for supporting me this long. It's been, I think, two years, which is kind of slow when you think about it. It's about, which was about one video a month or whatever, and then it was down to one video a week. It was back to one video a month because of su or summer happened and I was busy all summer like last year. And then it went to back to one video a week. And then from the, I think the beginning of this year, it was actually two videos a week or something like that. I don't remember. Or beginning of summer, it was two videos a week is what I was trying to do. So now, I think I just uploaded the whole 1D montage, so I'll have a link to the description if I remember. If I don't, write that in the comments, you know, stuff like that. What this is going to be is a game called Finger Bones. It's sort of a horror game, sort of not a horror game, I guess you can say. What happens, because I played a little bit of this, or not a little bit, but I played the whole thing of this, and what it is is you're in post-apocalyptic kind of thing. And you gotta hunt around for codes for to get past and everything. So let's play this. I'm going to read everything through. I don't know if it's gonna be a full playthrough. If I get interrupted within recording this, then it's not gonna be a complete playthrough. It's gonna be edited, and I'm gonna upload that. So yeah. So let's get into this. It's gonna be windowed mode, so I'm gonna fix that writing in the recording. Let's do this. All right. So there is no set. As you can say, a psychological horror game by David. I'm not going to say his last name. So, Finger Bones is intended to be completed in a single sitting, which is no same function, and suggested that you set aside at least half an hour to play to complete it. To exit, visit the door you started at. Use W, A, S, and D to move left, uh, or to move the left mouse to interact. My left mouse. Okay, that was real weird. Okay, so interact, you press I, do invert the mouse. Okay, so let's get into this. You press that. Whoa, it's gone real weird. Mouse sensitivity is so weird. Let me turn that down. Just for the sole fact, I am running a 3000? I'm running a 3000 DPI. Okay. Keep the music on a little bit. So I know. Okay, so we gotta hunt down for notes. Is that a note? When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook control of the entire time. I felt the same primal instinct yesterday night at the cellar. Okay. Oh, there's another note. It's my weekend with Katie, and I'm not in the mood in... Wait. I distracted her while the TV came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I, write, I tried to write. I could write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce certainly didn't help. Because I am not uh, depressed, I am enlightened that the result of two decades of scientific education, philosophy, pondering the price of knowledge. Okay, that just got real deep. <laughs> Alright, so what's right here? Is there a note? There's a flashlight. Awesome. So we're going to need this flashlight. Is there anything over here? Yes, there's a note right there. I don't know why I use my daughter's name as the door lock code for the survivor bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She liked her mother. I dedicated fragile versions of her mother. Damn her. Okay. So, as we walk around, what's over here? Oh, there's another room. 
I appear on the page of the manuscript. Pop morality is too relevant and emotions are not relevant enough for rational thoughts if morals must be determined. And I maintain this in a farce. But not to be determined by feeling. Feeling the nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking the, ne the actions of natural creature are natural and thus moral unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove in them as immoral. I guess that's talking about thoughts or something like that. I don't know. I'm stuck in a chair. Yeah, that's most likely locked. So the only thing I, I think this game is this game is free to play. I'll give you the link and everything, but the only thing is is it needs more interactivity. So the daughter's name. What was the daughter's name again? Wait, that's not it. All right, just wait. Katie. All right, we gotta put Katie into the keyboard. Is that it? All right, let's go check the door now. Oh, it's open. All right, so is there anything in here? It's in here. Okay. It finally happened. The whole world's in chaos and thunders and screams. And when the ashes settled, we will all be wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn in several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom is only rational rules and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Oh, no. I boxed up everything as usually practical and useful. I buried all the books, or burned all the books that so weren't a scientific edification. I like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood will probably ruin them anyways. Wait, what blood? I don't know. There's another note here, though. So I get it. Is that... They got it. Tool room has been her name for years now. I can't bring myself to change it. Wait. So we are talking about Lynn, which I think is the ex-wife, uh, if I'm right. So let's get up here. I got to do these. Go, go there. So I got to go back to the keyboard and change it. Lynn with two ends. I think that's right. If I'm right. If I'm not, it's probably Katie. Because there's a door right there that I know we have to get through to get to the hatch. Alright. Oh, it was right. Okay. So there's blood on that table. Is there any notes? Oh, there's a note back here. But wait, make sure I know where all the notes are. There's one right there, one right there. Is this door open? No, that door's not open. There's a wrench, a hammer, or saw. I might look at this one. I changed the storm code to something that was more easy to remember. L or N N Y. The rest of the word is missing. Okay. So we got to go over here now. I'm gonna look at this one. She remembers father's a dreamy picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wanted to waste time drawing pictures, and we're barely able to. Find enough food. I turned her crayons into candles. We needed more candles in case the generator goes out and to help break up the mon monotony. I, whatever. Not even a question. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. These, uh, like, there's. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desire to keep locked in the back of my conscience. I have nearly a year since I've been able to see a woman. I realize there's no practical reason to keep the desires locked up anymore. So N N Y is the password, but because the only word that we know with N N Y is Lin, so Lin backwards is probably it. Let's go do it. No. N N Y L. Is that it? Alright. 
I don't know why, but I keep looking over here because look at the discolored of the discoloredness of this wall right here and how indented. So I'm thinking there's probably like a hatch that we're gonna have to do that opens this part. So let's go back in there. Get past this door. Let's try this door now. Oh, it's open. Awesome. Okay, so is there any notes back here? Oh, there's a button. Press that. I don't know what that does because I'm probably screwed now. I'm mean, back at VNA and I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity serves a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it. I spent hours thinking of silly little artificial laws to live by because my forefathers built cities and societies to allow time and peace to reproduce and take to protect their genes dreams loves opinions desires beauties and innocence figments of our collective primordial imaginations fleeting electrical signals of fire across our synapses for a pointless moment in time they used to serve a purpose and now they are needless confusions and here i am a last man on earth for all i know ready to be freed from them Okay, that went real deep, and that was really confusing. Wait, was there another one? Oh wait, I gotta go back up, because I remember I opened something. Go back up, look around, because I still can't open this hatch, and that was all the notes down here, so I'm gonna go back up, look, see if there was anything open, because I'm knowing that probably the hatch was open, so. What I don't like is how this isn't connected to down there, because, to be honest, it can all run on the same exact thing and it doesn't have to switch, if you think about it. And this is open, so. Notes. The seller is freedom. Okay, what the heck is this? That That is weird. Alright, so the seller is freedom. The password is probably freedom. I wonder if I can open the hatch now. I'm going to open this door because it looks cool. There we go. Oh, it's open. Just note. There's only enough food for one, and she's going to die anyways. I am free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. It's on the ground. It's blood. It seems to have been torn of the diary. She's finally dead last time last night. I don't know whether the serration hydration of blood loss threw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti religious artificial, my testaments of morals and intelligent freedom are locked in the safe upstairs. I am I am content in the knowledge that I have done that I haven't done anything wrong. The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cellar one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her. Even now, there was a peaceful in the cellar and the free here in the cellar. Okay. Well, that was the end of the game. Um... We beat it in, I think, like 15 minutes, so it was kind of weird. We cut the time down from what it normally said, which is about 30 minutes, down to 15 minutes in this one little playthrough. So, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, you know, leave a comment. What do you guys want me to do next? I have so many things in my library that I've not touched on a recording, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.